What a lovely idea. Come on, let's go. to give it a go. You're doing fine. I don't believe it. What? An Oxford man who can't punt. I'm not an Oxford man. The thing that makes it look easy is balance. Come on, give it a go. I don't like water. What do we do now? There's something you need to understand. The river has its own journey, like going through life. There's a point to push and a point to steer, and only the now to go with the river. So you pull the pole out, you push, and then to steer, you sweep. Right, you're on your own. How much further? Just over there. I think you better take over. I made you a cheese sandwich. Thank you. It's really nice. Does it help coming here? I thought it might. I thought it might help me understand why he was found so far away from the road. Maybe he was a true Oxford man and a keen punter. That's him. The daughter sent it to me. You know, it's funny. When you smile for a photograph, you don't really know where you're going to end up. You could have at least said smile first. I look so serious. Really? I wonder why. 
So, what did the police think? Official report, an accident. I met a colleague last week. He seems to think he jumped off the bridge down there. Maybe he had some problems. The daughter doesn't seem to think so. I wonder what she's like. Rich. She got the lot. No, I mean... I've never actually met her. It's only email communications. She probably had him pushed off the bridge. She's paid a lot of money to find out what happened. Can I ask you a personal question, Dan? What's new? Your nightmares. They're getting worse, aren't they? I've stopped taking the sleeping pills. Kelly? Did you ever hear from your wife? Not since the divorce. Or maybe it was all part of her devious plan. The daughter? What better way to off suspicion than to hire a private detective? She has a friend that swears she was with her that night. Do all of your classmates believe that children want to murder their parents? I'd love to meet her. You'll get your chance. The funeral's today. We're meeting her after. Really? In about an hour. We better be quick. Mr. Osman. Hello. Mr. Osman, thank you for coming to meet me. I hope it wasn't too difficult to recognise me. My web photos are very dated. Uh, please call me Daniel. Hello, Sarah. Yes, uh, sorry, Sarah shares my house with me. Um, mm. She's also a keen punter. So I thought maybe we could punt to where your father was um, found. I'm pleased to meet you, Sarah. It's kind of you to help, thank you. My car's parked just over there. I thought we'd have a glass of wine and discuss everything then. Sounds good. Something wrong? Um, no, you're just not what I, what I imagined. Right. Pop it is then. Well done. So, Rebecca, why did you kill your father? Wow, brilliant. That's the uh, best icebreaker I've ever heard. I'm so sorry. That's so inappropriate. You're still grieving. Sorry. Please. Um, it's, um, it's absolutely fine. Let me explain. Um, I never loved him. He isn't my real father. You were adopted? Mm. I have no idea who my real parents are. No one does. They say I was abandoned. Mm. I read that your mother died. Ruth. She was very good to me. But they couldn't have children. It really messed them up. It must have been very difficult losing someone that you love. But I have got a file in my car. Um, it's as much as I could find regarding my father's affairs, business affairs. Good, because I'm finding it really difficult to find out anything about his life here. I realised that, which is why I came to see if I could help. You might be wasting your money. Apart from a barman that saw him. No one else saw him that night. The barman? What, here? Could I talk to him? I can see if he's on tonight. 
thank yeah? you. Yes. Sarah? Yes? Are you gay? Are you? Only that girl over there has been looking at you since we sat down. Excuse me one moment. Bloody people. She's trouble. We used to work together and we don't get on. What do you do? I'm a student at Brooks University. I'm doing a psychology degree. Oh, well, we have something in common then. Well, <laughs> I mean, I like studying people too. Meet Yannick. I want you to know you have my sympathies. Your father often came in here and I liked him. I'm sorry, I have nothing else to offer other than he was here that night and I saved him. Could you give us a moment of time, please? Sure, we'll be over there. I think you're being very kind and loyal to my father. Am I right? And you are right to protect me from what he got up to. But I know my father, and I know he liked... I know he liked anything young, pretty, and in a skirt. You won't be hurting me if you tell me whether he was on his own or with someone that night. I thought you were going to hit that girl. You saw me. Yeah, through the window of the pub. <laughs> What she's doing? This is a private matter. And I'm not the police. Did you say anything? Yes. Can we go? Sure. You gonna give me the file now or, or back up mine? I'm sorry, while you were getting drinks, me and Rebecca decided that maybe it'd be best if she stayed with us for a few days. Because she wants to be more involved. Um, I hate hotels. I hate all the fussing, so... I don't know if that's okay with you, Sam. It's fine with me. I might won't be there much in the evenings anyway. Studies at the Union Library. Well, maybe we can get to know each other during the day then, I hope. Anyway, um, I have a lead for you from Yanis. Yannick. Yannick, yes, Yannick. Um, but I'll talk to you about that later. Um, I need to go and check out at the hotel, so if you'll excuse me. See you later. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do.
I'm sorry. I don't know the routine. I haven't done this before. The agency said... You have to choose one of us. Her. Did you book a hotel room? What? Did you book a hotel room? No, I haven't booked anything. Well, it doesn't work like that. I'm out of here. Don't forget what I said. Do you have the fee? It's okay. And do you want it in the car? Yeah. I know someone. Going to be safe. Who cares? You are. You have a nice home. <sighs> Not yet. The mortgage company own it. Maybe in another twelve years. <laughs> Did you read it? Some of it. It's really good. There's so much hidden about him. People only saw his public face. Do you really think he was killed? Someone knew him the way that I knew him. What he was really like. Do you like violent sex, Daniel? Can you do me up? My wife, she was invalided a year ago. need to drop me back into town. Okay. You're probably used to rich guys. They're not so nice. Right. Can we go? Have you ever been unfaithful? Just once. Sexual desire is an odd thing, don't you think? It can turn good men into monsters. He was addicted to sex. Unfaithful all the time. The night he died, he was with a prostitute. 
The barman told me he always met them there. Did the barman see her? He never saw her. I'm not shocked. He said he would ask the other staff if they saw anything. I gave him your mobile number, I hope that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe someone saw something and didn't tell the police. I don't know why. The pub's just trying to protect his reputation. The Oxford wealthy go there. We can find out more tomorrow. I've had a long day. Yeah, it has been a long day. Where will I sleep? Follow me, I'll show you. She's rich, yes. She'll pay me much more yet. Now, what is a pretty girl like you gonna pay me for me not to tell her that you saw him that day? Ah, oh, you bitch! Don't you ever fucking touch me like that again. He was found just here. And do you think he was killed before or after? Before or after? She had sex with him. Mortido and libido are so connected. Don't you think? Dan. Daniel. 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 Sarah. Daniel. Come in. Rebecca? She's in the spare room. She wanted an early night. Never saw her car. Thought she'd gone. She must have moved it. Probably didn't want to take your space. Are you okay? What do you think it's like to have loads of money? <laughs> well, as opposed to scraping a living together in a job that you don't like. I thought you loved your job. It's okay. It's just I always wanted to be a writer. Do you want to hear one of my stories? Have I ever told you the story about my oven? No. It's a funny one. I was clearing out my old flat and I had this rickety old trailer that I needed to transport the oven onto and take it to the dump. But anyway, I was going down the dual carriageway.
பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தேன் I'll see to it, please. No, you're our guest. What would you like? Tea, a toast, um, cornflakes? Cornflakes. Okay. Oh, that'd be great, thank you. Nice and quiet here. So I was browsing and I no, forget it. You read something about me. You were mixed up with an escort girl, uh, Kelly Conrad, a few years ago. Um, I hadn't heard that before. Yeah. She killed herself. So I learned. People kill themselves because they're ill or because of false romanticism. You'll have to feel it. The article I read it said, your marriage broke up because of the affair. It broke up a long time before that. The girl was just a victim of my bad behaviour. You blame yourself? Does this have anything to do with your father? Your adoptive father? No, it hasn't. I'm sorry, it's none of my business. I had a drinking problem and I got involved with a girl. But then my wife was talking about coming back. She wanted to give it another go. Well, I like them when they're all crunched up. So. The girl didn't take the news well then. I was fond of her. I told her. Kelly was fucked up. It had nothing to do with you breaking it off. She killed herself. <clears throat> and it used to haunt me. But I'm over it.
Hello? Sounds serious. What's it about? Okay, give me about an hour. I have a mate on the force. I have to meet him. Maybe they have a lead. More than likely he's got himself into trouble. He breaks too many rules. Or maybe he just needs advice. I got you a beer. You better take a sup. Look, we're mates. So I'm going to make this off the record for now. Know him? He works at the head of the river. How come we find your phone number on him? What happened to him? Well, unless he rammed his own head into a bucket full of water until his lungs filled up, someone killed him. When was he found? This morning, down by the moorings at Osney Island. Still waiting on path reports, but I reckon he was done in late last night. He had a nasty cut to the back of his hand too, which seemed quite recent. His wallet was empty, but we found a condom and a slip of paper with your number on it. I met him yesterday. I'm still working for the daughter. She gave him my number. She saw him too? Yes. And Sarah. The girl staying at your house. I'm sorry, I should have knocked. It's okay. I try to have a shower, but... You have to pull both the cords just on the inside of the door. One's for the fan and the other is for the shower. Ah, uh, right. shower. Right. Thanks. Are you at uni today? Mm, maybe tonight. I'm going shopping. Shopping? I need a new outfit and a break from studying. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good idea, to have a break. Studies can be hard. Do you want to meet up later, somewhere in town? What time? Well, I'm taking my car for a service, running rough at the moment. Um, I can give you a call after. Okay. My number. Text me when you're on your way and I'll let you know where I am. Great. <laughs> okay. We went there late afternoon yesterday. To the pub. The, the guy, Yannick, reckoned that her father met a woman there that night. The pub pulls in a lot of the Oxford rich set. I suspected that he might be meeting someone there, but yeah, nobody said a word. They're just protecting the pub's reputation. True. True. Did he say what she looked like? He never saw her, but he served him two drinks. A whiskey and a cocktail. Yannick reckoned that her father used to meet escorts there. Oxford escorts? It's the only one I can think of. Can you think of any? No. We always keep on our new agency starting up. <sighs> mm. What about that one that we closed down when that girl... T oh, sorry, mate. I didn't mean to bring that up. It's OK. I'm over it. 
don't know, maybe the woman that was running it started up again under another name. Well, there's loads of freelancers on the web, but a guy like that, he'd need to be discreet. What do you, uh, what do you make of the daughter? Pretty. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> when I interviewed her down in, in Norfolk. Did you believe her, friend? My gut feeling was that they were more lovers than friends. Very fit, though. What a waste. You're around, mate. Problem is the politics of this. No one up there is interested in any foul play. Established figures. Suicide, murder. Bad for the Oxford image, mate. You know that. Do you know what? There have been five male bodies found dead by that river in the last three years. Is that a lot? People get drunk and fall in? Well, yeah, maybe, but... They're pissed when they've drowned. How did they manage to crawl out again? Instinct. Drowning is an instant. If they still had water in their lungs and they couldn't clear it, they still drown. Same again, or something different? Mm, yeah, Pino, please, mate. Oh, hold on. Where were the two girls last night? Forget it. They came back with me. What, all night? You're a lucky sod. Hey, I'm only teasing, mate. Thank you for my prison. Thank you for my prison. It's okay. It really suits you. I knew it would. Daniel? Why do you love me? Because you're innocent. Oxford. The area was hanging off and it caught my leg while I was waiting to cross. But it's really deep. Did you stop? No. I never do.
Rebecca? Hi Sarah, um, I just texted you. I got it. Um, listen, I... I decided not to go shopping. I'm... I'm not in the mood. Oh, sorry. Um, where are you? I'm at one of my favourite spots by the river. You sound upset. Sarah? Sarah? Are you alright? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, just tell me where you are. I'll meet you there. If something's troubling you, I'm a good listener. Would you? Yes, of course. Just tell me how to find you. the bank. 100 metres. On the right. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll come and find you. Yes. Got a favour to ask you, mate. Go on. Did a search of the annex flat. He was running his own little racket. We found a book with appointments, girls' names and... Dan, I need you to check an address out for me. Text it to me and I'll check it out tomorrow. No, unofficial. Might be best today before I put the report in. <sighs> Look, Martin, if you want me to break... Right over the air, mate. What's the connection? We found his diary. He sent a lot of girls to an address. He had the initials RC against the entry. Richard Cumner. Yeah. Or else a church. You up for it? Text it to me. It's a lovely place to fall asleep. Sorry I startled you. Thank you for coming. It's OK. You sounded upset on the phone. Would you like to talk about what's troubling you? I can cross. And yours? I had mine. Do I share it? Why do you want to know if your father was murdered? Was he a good man? I was 14 when Ruth died turned his attention to me and, but it wasn't the right kind of attention, I'm afraid. At first he was gentle, and in time, sadists, good men, no. I want to find out if someone killed my father. 
so I can thank them personally for ridding the world of a monster. There. You shared your sandwich with me, and I share myself with you. If we're going to be friends, it's best to start with no secrets. Too cheap. You won't like it. I didn't have time. When you phoned, I... Look, if I'm to keep you two out of this, take it off, put this on. Go on. He doesn't do cheap. When I come back, I'll look your way. If I shake my head, make sure he doesn't see you. If I wave, get out and come and join us. All right? Take those off as well. I know this one. He's difficult. We have to tempt him. Play it right. Don't let me down. <sighs> if he's not happy, there'll be trouble for all of us. Elizabeth, is this discreet enough for you? Martin. Or is it still DCI Williams? Well, they haven't demoted me yet. <laughs> Luck or guile? Luck, probably. Maybe I've changed. You certainly haven't. You're looking very good. Thanks. It's good to see you too. How are the kids? Oh, gone. All at university now. Hopefully they'll do better than me. How's business? Since you shut me down, you mean? Come on. You know that wasn't me. They, well, you know how it is. <sighs> Keep it quiet and... Nobody figures the powers that be of Oxford are using my girls. Everything's rosy. Bloody hypocrites, the lot of you. True, true. You didn't come out of it too badly. <laughs> if one of your lot hadn't fallen in and out of love with whoa, one of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He suffered. Believe me, he paid... Anyway, that was back then. This is about a problem I've got now. Shit. What is it? I just wanted to look at a couple of pictures. <clears throat> Can you keep me out of this? I think we should discuss it in my car. I'm parked over there. It's taken me years to build up my new... I own the restaurant. I'm not the cook or the bloody waiter. I organise customers' meals. I do not serve them. That's why it's worth your while. Keep at this investigation, Elizabeth. Come on. Busy lager. Go and wait in the car. Oh. 
<sighs> Elizabeth, I'm not actually into that pretentious gargle and spit wine tasting routine. You remember? I'm more the chucking it back in one type of guy. Mm. Keeping you out of this was always going to get messy for the both of us. <laughs> Never let it be said, I'm not a gentleman. Yeah. Oh. Still using the same shade of lipstick, I see. <laughs> Smile. We're both good at what we do, and I'm going to do my best to keep you out of this. Just relax and ask you a few questions. So what aspect are you worried about most? The fact you have sex for money to pay your way through uni, or Daniel finding out and not liking you? I had sex with your father. He was one of your clients? Just the one time. Did he hurt you? What do you think of me? What, that you had sex with him, or that you're a sex worker? I like you more. <sighs> See, my life is boring. Money pays for the adventures, but your life is exciting and dangerous. It's not like that. You should know, your father... I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to... I think it's different. Unless, of course, your clients are, God forbid, like him. Most are okay. I don't take chances. Here, it's different in this city. We don't hang around on street corners, but the same sort of stuff happens. You wouldn't understand. You've never had to worry about the cost and sacrifice of trying to improve your life. True. I think people are divided by their experiences. Me? I'm interested in learning in how to escape what shaped me. I don't want anything to get in the way of us being close friends. We need to fix something. What do you mean? So let me make sure I understand this. You send the client a SIM card. He switches it into his flat. A page you go on. He then calls you back and tells you what time he wants to meet a girl. You don't send him to hotels or private... I care about the safety of my girls. Most of them are students, so I make sure all initial meets are in public places. Pubs, cafes. So then at the meet you send two? Sometimes three, or maybe four. And when they get there, they find the mobile to give him the chance to eyeball them and pick one. Exactly. Mm. And then the others then leave. With a £30 turn-up fee. And the chosen one? Minimum £150 an hour. And the agency takes half. It's a bit steep, isn't it? <laughs> it's pocket money for these guys. No, I meant the girls. <sighs> A skilled escort will always be given a bonus by satisfied clients. That's theirs. So I don't even ask about it. Well, that's very magnanimous of you. And that's rich coming from a DCI who spends his work hours shoving his dick. Shh. Be nice. Just answer the question. So how many girls did you send to meet the dead guy? Two. Did they ever take drugs along for the client, like cocaine or ecstasy? Absolutely not. We work strictly professionally. All I need from you now are names and pictures of the two girls that you sent. Please, 
tell me you're not going to go marching into their rooms. Think about their reputations, their careers. You'll destroy them. And for what? For working hard to build a better life. Sure, sure. I have an idea. I'll arrange for you to meet them. Put it in your phone. When? As soon as possible. You'll get their numbers when they call yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Names? They're pointless. We only use first names and they're made up for the job. Right. Are we done here? Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll call you if I need anything else. Hey. And you know my word is good. I know. You might be one shit of a cop, but <laughs> we're not so different. And yet we are. Bloody phone. Elizabeth, do you know this guy? Oh, well, I can see you do. You better close the door. We've got another deal to strike. Silly car in Oxford. They were always hanging off and it caught my leg while I was waiting to cross. Did he stop? No. I never do.
From what I understand, you never got married, Elizabeth. I've seen too much of men to ever trust one. My point is that after 20 years or so, most marriages end up as friendships. and Men want sex and excitement. And you think women don't? No, no, they don't. They, they just want to join book clubs and learn to play tennis and wait for grandkids to come along. But blokes are different. What's wrong? Wife decided book clubs are boring and run off with the young tennis coach. I didn't know they still make those. It's Rebecca's. The prints used to be so much bigger. Let's have a look. Oh, you look so serious. No one says cheese anymore. Take one of us. Say cheese. Cheese! What happens now? Well, the agency know I'm waiting. No, it was two Fridays. This is it. Oh, shit. What is it? The meet's arranged. It's a bit of a drive from here. A pub on the river. I thought it was here in the city. Client change, apparently. Sometimes, last minute, they send us to another client. I know this pub. It's too quiet. I prefer it when it's busy, safer. I've told her I'm not happy. <laughs> She says she knows the client. He's prepaid. It's safe. We'll go. Look, maybe this isn't a good idea. I'll go. Y you stay here and wait for me. What? Don't be silly. You've proved yourself to be a good friend. And to be honest, I thought you were just saying it, but you weren't. It's enough. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's see what fate brings. We both have to ring him, right? Yeah, he chooses. It's 50-50 chance. Let's do it. You do know that you'll have to have sex with him. You do realise that, don't you? Anything that he wants, so long as it isn't dangerous. If you don't do... Look. Nothing can be as bad as what I've already been through. Besides, maybe I could use the extra money. <laughs> Swallow up there, look. Mm. Lovely to see him, isn't it? Yeah, all the way from South Africa. Absolutely. If I catch you inside, Paul, I'll okay. see you inside. Yeah, I'll Cheers. fine with you. Yeah, see the smoking show. All right, well, I can see you. I asked for two.
shit. Fuck. off what we found a spot and I realized I dropped my phone so I went to go find it and then I was gone less than a minute he wasn't there she was in trouble. Yeah. trouble come on we best get out of here something's not right no day no light no time just standing still No air to breathe Just Really 
care about you. You're young. You'll move on. Sure. Take care of yourself, Daniel. Thank you for loving me. Kelly! Kelly, wait, don't go like this! But why? Because I haven't proven myself yet. But it's not that, is it? There's something else, isn't there? one for you. Did you get the money? Oh. You clean yourself up. I'll go and get it. Okay. Him out. He dozed off. He got it from his jacket. Was he kinky? 
No, why? He was all wet. Mm, I worked up a bit of a sweat in him. <laughs> no, you keep it. I enjoyed it. I want to do another one. You're kidding, right? No. Why not? This isn't something that you can just... The agency will be suspicious. They know it's not my style. So, so, they won't use me anymore. And I need the money. What about Daniel? I'm just teasing. Did you have a good night? I never realised how interesting Sarah's studies were. You feeling better, Sarah? She had a bit too much after the library. It's okay. I'll bunk in with her tonight. She'll be alright. It might be best. The barman. He phoned you? He's dead. He was found this morning by the canal. He was killed. Trouble. Maybe it's a coincidence. A mugging? Yeah, maybe. He seemed like a nice guy. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. Come on, Sarah. It's bedtime. <laughs> Sarah, would you like to hear a story? Sleep well, Rebecca. Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to hear one of my stories? You're a good man, Daniel. Maybe we'll do the story tonight. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Two girls last night. What has that got to do with anything? As long as the water like this. And then she did this. Mm. Mm. Shh. 
She nearly took the life from me, Elizabeth. I'm not happy. You better start to talk, Elizabeth. I run escort girls, not a cop killing agency. Anyway, look at the size of you. How could any of my girls drown you? What did they do? Hold you down in the river with a JCB? True, true. Look, I wasn't entirely honest with you yesterday. If you go into the front room, I'll get my files. I can give you the address of one of the girls. I can get that from the phone numbers on my phone. Oh, I doubt it. They're students. They use old addresses or false ones. Go on. I'll make us a cup of tea. It'll calm you down a bit. Is Earl Grey still your favourite? Mm. Martin. I mean you no harm. You must know that. Where? What? Well, how the fuck could that happen? What did he do? Mistake his radio for a can of coke? We wait. I want an ASAP. Two days. I'm not waiting two days. Outsource the bloody autopsy. Budget. Sod the bloody budget. The top brass of this city will be all over us now. We don't get murders in Oxford. You get it. I don't believe it. We've found another stiff in a car in Marcham. My fella says his lungs were full of water. I'm trying to keep you out of this, Elizabeth. Do you send a girl to march? One of the girls I sent you, after. She wanted another. The one I chose to talk to first. She's not here. But they're the two I sent. <laughs> Which one did you send to March? It was unlike her to ask for another. Did she know Yannick, the barman? Most of the girls know him. I told you yesterday at the lock. He freelanced for me, found me clients. Sometimes he collected money from the girls for me. You told me you collected the money from the clients. Oh, most of them are students. Occasionally I lend them money. Sometimes they go to him to pay me back. With high interest too, no doubt. That is not how it works. They earn for me, I look after them. Even you know I'm fair. Mm -hmm. True, true. So, the rich guy, Richard Cumner. Which one got the 30 quid and which one got the client? Um, she sent me a text, said she got there five minutes late. When she got there, the other choice was already with the client. So she met him? She sent me a text, said she got there 20 minutes late. There was flooding on the roads that night. When she got there, no client, no other girl. Too convenient. One of them's lying. Or both. Maybe a freelancer was there. Yannick was running a racket on the side. I wonder if you tipped off another girl. Not one of yours. Whoever it was, she saw her. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Um, did you sleep well? I want to apologise. What for? Last night, I, I don't know what came over me. I've never done. I... Sorry. It was out of character. No harm done. You forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. I, I shouldn't have got you involved in my stuff. Can we hug? I don't want to lose our friendship.
other. Okay. Um, who was that girl we saw drive away? I think you called her, um, Trouble. She's another escort girl. But there's something not quite right about her. She's... odd. You two don't get along, I, I remember you saying, at the pub, the day we met. That's why I call her Trouble. She just seems to pop up too often, anywhere that I am. Maybe she's stalking you? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. He's still sleeping. He had a bit of a rough night. No, <laughs> it's not like that. We don't... We're just friends. I understand. Are you at uni? Yeah, for real. I need to catch up. Okay. Look. Thank you for understanding me. What size are you? A ten? Dress size. I'm going to Bicester Village. I'll get you something, designer. Really? A present to say thank you for last night. Ten? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I need to get to uni. It's um dissertation deadline today. Oh god. If okay. I don't get it in, it's an instant failure. You shoot. Let him sleep. This has dug up some old stuff. And if he doesn't rest, then... Sure. I'll leave quietly. I understand. Don't worry. Say Williams. What's Interpol doing sniffing around Oxford? I thought you lot were more interested in organised crime. And international serial killers. We can talk in your car. Be my guest. I know her, she's an escort. I've been tagging her undercover. We have a similar unsolved case in France. Yeah, she's involved. God, I look so serious in this one. Well, maybe being an escort doesn't suit you. There are many similarities. We nearly caught whoever's doing this twice. Once in France and a few months ago here in Norfolk. And we get close then I noticed something strange down by the lock. Yes? Hmm. If you want new bile, you're best to wear shave. That felt unkilly. You nearly did. So. The girl you went into the woods with last night. This one. Who's she? Maybe she's another escort. I saw these together a few days ago at the head of the river. We had a row when I asked who the other girl was. Maybe you're asking too many questions. No. She was worried the girl would connect me with her and realise we were both escorts. Did she say who she was? She said this one is the daughter of Richard Cumber. <laughs> I wonder who gave her that silly idea. 
You interviewed her, right? Mm. The daughter. Mm. Weeks ago. And that definitely isn't her. Listen. Do you seriously think that I'll go into the woods with a dead guy's daughter to interview her discreetly? To be brutally honest, do you see how Williams? I have a bloody good idea what you were doing. And it wasn't following protocol. Yes, I was. A bit like you. We both do what we have to do to get the job done. We both have to make sacrifices. <coughs> I was making sure that she could talk to me safely. You never know who's sniffing around. We need to pick her up. Well, I was just on my way to do that. You gonna ride with me? Or what? I'm over there. You can pick it up later. I got up to go to the loo. She's gone out. Not back till tonight. That's good. I'll get a night in my mind. I want a life with the blood. The weeds. Hold you tight. What? No small kiss for your innocent sweetheart. I'm hurt. No. You're not asleep. Mud holds you tight. I'm so sorry for hurting you. Are you? Are you really? Prove it. Kiss me. Just one small kiss. So I know you really care. never coming back. You lied. 
You never really loved me. I do love you. I did it for you. So you can find real love. Instead of a needy man. <laughs> The girl! I get her. No, you stay here. Look after my mate. I owe her one. Hey! Stop! Kelly! Hello? I need money to get back to London. I don't expect charity. I can trade. Perhaps something else then. over there, when no one would see. I need 30 pounds. It's me, Sarah. Where's Rebecca? Are you alright, mate? His lungs were full of water. The girl. She's banished. You bloody well lost her. I found this by the lakeside. When I got there, well... What? <coughs> Say it. Uh, Something had gone in there. It was, it was bloody huge. I only saw the tail, but... Probably a bloody catfish. Not again. My young love said to me you for your lack of kind and she stepped away from me and this she did say it will not be long love till the wedding day mm -hmm. 
She stepped away from me and went through the fair. And fondly I watched her move here and move there. And then she went homeward with one star awake as the swan in the evening moves over the lake. The people were saying no two were wed, but one had a sorrow that never was said, and I smiled as she passed with her goods and her gear, and that was the last that